I seem to get these same five questions all the time from people who are relocating here. So I wanted to talk to you about mistakes I see people making when choosing a home or a community or an area to live in in Florida. So, hey, it's John Bice with the Florida for Boomers Network and EXP Real Estate. Thanks for visiting my channel. Hope you enjoy this video. And if you like the information you're getting, hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. We put out information about moving to Sarasota and Lakewood Ranch about two to three times a week. And we hopefully put out good information for you if you're considering your first home in Florida or maybe being a snowbird in Florida. So let's jump into it and talk about these five things that just about everybody talks to me about. How far is the beach? If that's important to you, how far away is the beach? I'm a Floridian, so I could talk to you all day about this. But one thing to consider is the closer you get to the beach, the higher the prices go. Our condo prices here in the Sarasota area have literally, I'm going to say easily doubled in the last probably five to seven years because there's just no more waterfront property to build on. So if you can even get a glimpse of the water, it's going to be very pricey. Something, a condo that looks directly at the Gulf of Mexico, probably a million plus to get into. And some of these condos were built back in the 70s and 80s, like 1,400 square feet. So that's something very important to think about. The closer you get to the water, the higher the price goes for property. So I literally have people telling me, oh yeah, we want something on the water, John, probably a three bedroom, two bath pool home. Budget's around $450,000. This is not 1950s Florida. That doesn't happen. There's no such thing as that, unless it is something that needs to be absolutely torn down and rebuilt. It's just not going to happen. So if that beach thing is important to you, just remember that. Lakewood Ranch is a perfect example. 11 miles from the beach, we're not in a flood zone something very important because you do not have to have flood insurance and storm activity when believe it or not just 11 miles away from the water makes a huge huge difference and the area you're building in too is it newer construction and when i say newer after 2005 the newest hurricane standards came out it's mandatory that a house either comes with storm shutters new construction homes or impact windows, one or the other. Now, like the Dell Webb that's located in Parrish, it's called Dell Webb Bayview. They, the builder, Pulte now, includes impact, impact windows with the home. Now, of course, they raise their price, but um, you're going to get those windows and they don't have to install the bolts around the windows for the shutters and open to go over the sliding glass doors. Big difference. So the homes in Lakewood Ranch, the vast majority, unless somebody upgraded to the impact windows, are going to come with storm shutters. Very easy to install. No big deal. And really, the only place you need those, and this is my opinion, not don't take my advice, but just my opinion, it's the front and back of your house. If you've got neighbors on the sides, it's to protect your windows from things flying through the air. So if your neighbor house is here, your house is here, it's highly unlikely that something is gonna come over their house, go down, and then this way. It's just not gonna happen. But the front and the back of your house, very important, cover up the uh, sliding glass doors. Yes, that's a big, big, big deal. Again, how far is the beach? Is that important to you? There's a Dell Webb community that's in Naples. It's 11 miles east of I-75. And then probably another 45 minutes to get out to their beaches from there. So just a crazy amount of time to get there. So if that's important to you, think about that. Again, ours is 11 miles. On a bad day, it's 30 minutes, maybe 35 with a ton of traffic to get out there. And we've got all kinds of beaches to choose from. Siesta Key, Lido Key, Longboat Key, 
Bradenton Beach, Holmes Beach, Anna Maria Island. <clears throat> so it's not like everybody's trying to pack onto one particular area, although most people do try to go to Siesta Key. So it's a madhouse out there. Number two, what is it like during snowbird season in the area you're picking? So does the population go up by 10%, 20%, 25%? What's it like? Again, comparing our area to Naples, Naples probably goes up 30% in population during the uh, height of snowbird season, which is after January 1st through April. 30%. It's absolutely packed. Now, Sarasota, ours probably goes up 20%, and the roads weren't made to hold this much traffic, I can tell you. It's crowded. You have to know the back ways to take, when to get out on the uh, roads, when not to. I mean, if you're going to be a snowbird and you're here, don't go out on the road between 8 and 9 in the morning when everybody's trying to get to work. Just avoid it and avoid it between 4.30 and 5.30. So go get your early bird dinner before 4.30 or after 5.30. That's the best thing to do because it cuts down on so much traffic. Is that going to affect you if you're a snowbird? the amount of people here, or if you're living here, is it going to affect you? So that's something very, very important to consider. Um, what is it like during snowbird season? What kind of lifestyle are you going to want and have? Don't think you're going to move into one of these 55 plus communities that has a activity director, has all the things there, and they're going to come knock on your door and go, hey, you want to do this? Hey, you want to do that? You have to decide what kind of activity level you want. Do you want to go to the gym every morning and work out? Do you want to learn how to play water volleyball? Do you want to get into Pilates or maybe taking spin classes? What is it that you're going to be doing once you retire? And you have to create that lifestyle because I don't care how great their activity director is, unless you put the effort into it, it's not going to work. Now, they have all different levels of activities. They have uh, people who sit and play cards a lot. They have people who probably just go and hang out around the pool a lot and have a group of people that do that. But again, you've got to choose the lifestyle that you want. They're going to have clubs there that are people who like to do anything, like to go on casual bike rides or maybe want to be in a long distance biking club. Uh, people who like to walk together, people who, whatever it is, like I said, water volleyball or Pilates or whatever it is, they're going to have that, but you have to apply it to your lifestyle um, to make that work. Okay. So that's very important because people think that they had this lifestyle up north where they're in miserable cold for six or seven months a year, and they're going to come down here and all of a sudden their lifestyle is going to change without them making a change, if you know what I mean. So you have to take that into consideration. Um, visitors, people will come and visit. Your family's not going to come as much as you think that they are because your kids still have jobs. Your grandkids are still in school. So they're not going to come down here and be here for three months out of the year just doesn't happen. They're going to come down for their week vacation to see you and hang out. But in the meantime, you're going to be down here and they're going to be back up in Connecticut. So that's very important to consider because I have so many people who will buy a home here and they think that their family is going to be coming down here all the time to visit, to visit, and they're not. My advice to you, not for family, of course, but don't make your guest room too comfortable because people will literally come and camp out at your house. <laughs> My best advice to you is Google hotels in Lakewood Ranch. There's some beautiful hotels and you guys can come over and visit and have dinner and hang out by the pool. It'll be a great time. Maybe that's your lifestyle where you want people hanging out at your house for weeks at a time. It's not mine, but that's a decision you have to make. So, don't make the mistake in thinking your family is going to come down here all the time because they're not buying a resale. This is my last little point here. The uh, Del Webb in Lakewood Ranch is all resales now. So 
you have to look at that house and figure out what you are going to change. Is it just absolutely perfect? You love the flooring, you love the cabinets, you love the view, all of those things. Or are you going to be buying a house where you're not really crazy about the kitchen cabinets and you might want something different there? Or you're not a real big fan of the plank tile flooring and you want to put something else in there? Or they didn't add a pool and that's really important for you. What's that pool going to cost? So those are all things to consider. And then you get into the deep, deep dive, like how old's the roof? How old's the air conditioning system? What kind of life does it have in it? What kind of life is the roof have left? And insurance, you got to check into that. And what will your property taxes be after you buy the house and understand how that works? So a knowledgeable real estate agent will be able to tell you about paying taxes and arrears that we do here, homesteading the property, Will it change from what the current owners are paying to what you will pay as the new owner? Because there will be a difference. It might be a little bit, but if they've been in the home for seven years and the value may have doubled on that home, maybe. So you'll be reassessed the following year on the value of that home. And especially if you're gonna be a snowbird and you can't homestead, that's a huge factor to consider. When you're going to these communities, pay attention to what's around you too. How far is a grocery store? Now, in Lakewood Ranch, it's hard not to be within a mile of a Publix because I think there's eight Publix within Lakewood Ranch. But if like, let's say Whole Foods is important to you, how far away is that or a fresh market? Or for us, how far is Detweiler's away? And if you don't know what Detweiler's is, be sure to ask me about that because it's an Amish supermarket here. Amazing. We love it. Those are five things to consider. The beach, if that's important to you. Uh, what's it like to be a snowbird or live here during snowbird season? What's your lifestyle going to be once you retire? I've seen husbands and wives where the wife is like, yes, I'm going to go crazy. We're going to work out every day. We're going to bike. We're going to do all this. And the husband turns into a couch potato because he's retired. You know, so you got to consider those things, have a talk with each other about what that's going to be. Visitors, they're not going to come all the time. They're going to come, but they're not going to come all the time. And it's going to be for like a week long visit and buying a resale home. Questions to ask the agent that you're working with, which I hope will be me. If I missed anything, put it in the comments. I'm happy to give you the information about it. But those are some vital things that I talk to people all the time about. So I think it's really important that you make notes about this. We didn't even get into like homes and styles and prices and square footage. That's a whole nother video. But this will give you an idea of a great place to start. And then we build on it from there. Is it a gated community? Is it an active adult community? Is it a 55 plus community? Is it a golfing community? All of those things we do. And we get on a Zoom call together and I'm gonna run down this list so I can start sending you homes that matter to you, not just random things that come on the market like most agents do, okay? So John Bice, my cell phone number, 941-962. 7443. You can call me seven days a week between eight o'clock in the morning and roughly seven o'clock at night. After that, I'm kind of done. But um, I would love to help you find a home here in what I call paradise. Living in Sarasota, Florida is amazing. You'll love it. So that's it for right now. And thanks for checking in. Follow us. You'll get lots of good information like this. I'll talk to you soon.